sort of not really a thing but that's not completely true because there are little cafe type things little coffee shops that have kind of like an old vibe and we've come over to one that is actually kind of nearby where we live we could just walk here in i don't know 10 minutes or less yeah less than 10 and it's over in the asakusa area near sansoji and everything and it has got what i would call a showa vibe and I think the food as well has a Showa vibe. And Showa is like a time period in Japan from the 50s, am I saying that? Is that right? Something like that. Until 1989. Yeah, so like the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s. And it lasted 70s, for 60 80s. years. So yeah, I don't 60 remember. ish years. Okay. So we're talking about like. Post war, basically, yeah. through the, the economic boom of the 80s. And people use that word to describe food a lot of times. And people say it's like. Uh, nostalgic and people can be for the people that grew up in that time period and things like that and older people are in the show wire How stuff. do you describe this uh, type of food? Show era. <laughs> True, but like, is it simple? Because it's looking pretty darn simple yeah, to it, me. Yeah, it is kind of simple, but there's some like elegance to it, some polish. To it, some polish. And, um, it's like with what you have that is simple, making it very good. Mm. Yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. It's not like, um, I nailed it. you did. It's not like tons of embellishments. It's perfection on the simplicity that's been presented. Mm. So anyway, the first thing that comes out is a couple of drinks. And you get your tea, I got my tea, you got your coffee. Yeah, I got my coffee, I haven't and added sugar. any. Uh, uh, did you add sugar already to yours? Nah, okay. but you gotta add sugar. That's how I roll. I apologize for this view isn't like super spectacular, but we're on a very small little table. <laughs> Yeah, it's definitely a tiny little table and, and we, we uh, have to make this decision like do we have both of us in the shot or do we have the food in the shot with one of us manning the camera and the decision that we made this morning is what you're seeing um, so to show to show what our breakfast mm. a tokyo breakfast it is oh that's good there's actually it's an interesting twang to the coffee and that's tea. That, that is tea. tea. Yes, that's tea. That's good. Dude, the last time you made tea, you put the lemon and the milk together. That was a no-no. That was a bad idea. Um, on our plate, what are you most excited about having? The thickness <laughs> of the bread. <laughs> like, this is my hand. <laughs> yeah, they make it really thick. And um, we got a salad. We got a little yogurt. I came here recently, and the yogurt was not pink. But today, I tried to ask the guy if it was Ichigo, which is strawberry, and he just walked away. He did. I don't think he heard you. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think he's in the, the tone of hearing people. Is that strawberry yogurt. And uh, on the plate, another thing that I found exciting is you have all the utensils that you need. You have the tiny fork, you have the tiny spreader. This is not a knife, although I'll probably use it as one. And then the tiny spoon for the yogurt. Let me see your spoon. Everything oh. is small. Why is mine different? What's Same this? reason that the, what what's about your this, fork? What's this hook for? Uh, that's that's a dessert knife. The fork looks the it's same. It's for desserts. This is for spreading butter. But, but I don't have a dessert. I don't have bread. You don't even have any butter. You have marmalade. Uh, marmalade. It's a spreader. And um, yeah, the toast is kind of exciting, I guess. Oh, it's cut in half. Watch yeah. out. And then, this is just going to be like an egg salad, like up on top of it, I'm assuming. Uh, yeah, it will be camera. an egg salad, there which surprises me because they used to have two options. You could get this full spread like we have for 630 yen, or you can get the reduced spread, which is just toast and a salad and uh, jam for 530, so it's 100 yen less. And uh, why are you nudging me? Let's eat the bread. <laughs> you can eat the bread. <laughs> Tell me do it together. Stopping you. Um, but they had one in the middle that had uh, egg salad as a sandwich, and that just poof. 
left the menu. It's not there anymore. <laughs> now the menu is an A set and a C set. Yeah. <laughs> we just drop the B set all together and we were hypothesizing as to why. And we think that maybe they have like um, some people that come here all the time. And they've been coming here for, since the Showa era. Mm. And they're just like, okay, well, I'm gonna order my B, my, my C set, and they don't want to screw around with like renaming things because then people will be ordering the wrong thing. And they definitely automatically put butter on this toast. Mm. So if you're not a butter person or can't eat butter, you need to tell them not to. I don't care. The butter is bringing the game. Mm. It, I don't know how this is so good. Even just the toast, even without any of the topping on. I have to make egg salad tomorrow, so this is like a uh, learning case. They don't use any onions. It's almost mayonnaise, egg, and salt and pepper. And that's the whole game? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I don't know how they make the bread itself so good. And maybe it's just because butter is good. Bread's just good, yeah. <laughs> this bread is good, good. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. It's just like, and because they're like working on perfecting the simplicity of the ingredients, they have done a really good job about delivering with just the simplicity of the bread. Like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. They're not trying to like slather it with a bunch of extra stuff to the other, make it better. Yeah. I don't understand what the marmalade is for. I have one piece of bread with egg salad on it, mm -hmm. and I have one piece of bread with a small piece of ham on it. What do I do with the marmalade? I just eat the ham and then I put the marmalade on the ham one. Are you just gonna eat the ham like, yeah. like raw dog it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think I might just I, skip I, my marmalade. I'm a problem solver. You you seem to just sit there in the problem. <laughs> I um last time I was here I put the marmalade in the yogurt and mix it up. Oh that's not a bad idea. Oh, because plain, it was plain, plain yogurt yeah. at the time. So I was like, okay, I can get a lot. I can get a lot this is the ham and I recently had a ham adventure that did not go well. So um, I thought about not getting ham today, and uh, I decided that I was just going to go for it anyways because I know this is the ham I'm going to want as opposed to the ham I got last time. I have good news. Double ham. There's one in the well, salad. That made me realize that in the future, or I should just get the um, lesser one. I did want to try the egg salad today because I have to make my own egg salad. But mm -hmm. in the future, I will go lower. Is that potato salad? The potato salad in here. And guess what? Hmm. It's tasty. There's also, I'm assuming this is nori, mm -hmm. seaweed of some sort. Mm -hmm. It's not it's called okay. nori when it's wet. It's no, called it's something not. else. Wakame? Wakame, yeah. But the, the lunch, the, it is a very simplified breakfast. And usually these places open eight or earlier. I've seen places some like this like that six. open at six. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you can get a breakfast, but they're not easy to find. And I realized, like, what has been the key to finding these places in the past or, or in our recent time is that Google Maps will allow you to put in a time now, hmm. which has been good. But like other ways that I search for restaurants don't allow you to put in a time. Mm -hmm. And we did not find this place through Google Maps. We actually found this through a friend who, in our first like few weeks of being living in Asakusa, brought us here. He was like, you have to come to this restaurant. And uh, it's called De Ca Café de Royal. Is that what? Oh, I don't even know what it's yeah, called. Yeah, Café just... de Royal. Uh -huh. And it is nice. The vibe I, in here is really cool. Yeah. Really everything. Little piano music playing, some little candelabras. <laughs> the, the lighting is relaxing. People are shuffling around newspapers. It really feels like the Dal machine. 101 Dalmatians. Like, like uh, there's scenes in that that have like that kind of morning scene and it really feels like that. I'm not familiar with this. <laughs> I guess we're gonna have to watch that so that you understand. Um, yeah, but I think that, I mean, I'm just happy that we found breakfast. Oh, I was gonna say, one of the reasons that we didn't use to come to places like this is because they used to always exclusively allow smoking. Yes. So you'd come in here and it would just be like smoke cigarettes and everywhere and that was part of the vibe. But the law has changed in Japan last year. So there's no smoking in places such as this. So now we feel like, oh, we can go there and not like, smell like cigarettes and blah, blah, blah. We just not into that. So. Yeah, the first time that we yeah. came here, they were smoking cigarettes and we were like, okay, well, we'll never come back here. And then they changed the law and you came and tried it again and we're like, it's good. And I was like, okay, we're coming. 
Yeah, but I mean, I would say if you're coming to Japan, you have the opportunity to, especially in these types of neighborhoods with an old school feel, kind of like Osaka has, mm -hmm. you're going to find places like this, and they're really a good way to start the day as far as breakfast goes. Oh, yeah. If you're not in a little area that has these, you can just go find a bakery or go into a kombini, but... <laughs> But this is, I think, the most traditional-ish breakfast I can think of in Japan. Oh, it's not the most traditional-ish breakfast I can think of in Japan. Served at a restaurant, maybe. But, like, your traditional is grandma. Grandma. Grandma makes you some salmon and puts it on top of rice. We'll have to make a video about that one day. We'll just go to Yoshinoya and get their breakfast. I have, I have some thoughts about making Tokyo breakfast a series rather than a one-off. Mm. So, have to uh, do some research. Yeah. All right, it's breakfast time, y'all. Mm. Are we going? Yeah. This is the end of the video. And at the end of the video, we talk about commenting and liking and subscribing and how that helps all of this continue to happen. On top of that, going to Patreon is a definite way to contribute to making more awesome videos happen. Um, and thank you to everybody over at Patreon that's doing that. And uh, also, we've been hanging out on Twitch a lot and Instagram and Facebook is where we can all communicate. Did I nail it? I, I think, think you I got nailed everything. it. Yeah, we have a Discord too. You can hang out Dang on the Discord. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is a major hangout. The wild, the wide world of Katie and Eric is expansive. It's hard to remember everything and kick it all off up off the head. But mm. you did a pretty good job. Oh yeah, I tried.